Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's Call of Duty video, guys. Today, I have some awesome news to tell you. This weekend, if you guys didn't know, if you're not a part of the Discord, my wife and I went and we started searching for some land or potentially just a house. And I think it's not nothing settled yet. We're gonna, we have to call the bank this week. Today's Labor Day, so everything's close. Happy Labor Day, by the way. Happy Labor Day to everyone in uh, America. But this week, we're gonna be calling the banks. We're gonna try to see if we can actually get this land and put a house on it. And it's going to be pretty awesome. So I'm going to tell you guys about that story while we're playing some. Oh, wait. Am I in search? No, I'm in hard point. Perfect. Before I forget, guys, today is the last day to use code EMGG at GFuel for 30% off. And besides GFuel, we also have Scuff Gaming, DX Tracer, and Meta Threads that you can use code EMGG at for 10% off at those sites. All right. So it looks like we joined this game a little bit late, but not too much. I'm just happy that we are going to see some Gunrunner. I mean, I honestly, I wanted to play Shoot the Ship because that is... Like, guys, when I'm not recording, literally the only thing I play is Search and Destroy on stream. Just search that guy's annoying. Search and Destroy on stream because that is my favorite game mode. But Search and Destroy is hard to, like, make a video on, like a solo video on. So I don't do that for videos. Uh, I If I ever, like, have 30 minutes here or there just to play some Call of Duty and I'm not recording it, I play Shoot the Ship. Like, I do not... I mean, this... I mean, look at this. Right there, look what's happening. I say this every video, honestly. I'm, I'm sorry I complain so much. But, dude, every time... I just run into these sniper lobbies, which like good on you guys. I just wish I could have a lead play. That's enough complaining for me though. That's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about my wife and I. So we went and looked at, we've been looking at this land for a while and we finally got to see it and it is absolutely perfect. It is, hopefully we get it. I'm sure we will because this land has been on the market for some time because no one wants it. And I'll, <laughs> I'll tell you why. Because we went and looked at it, it's four and a half acres of land, which if you don't know that, four and a half acres of land is a lot. It's out in the country. It's not like a ton. I mean, farmers have like hundreds of acres of land, but we're not farmers. So for like a yard, like your normal, your, your in-city yard is like, oh, I stuck that guy, loser. You're like, if you're in the city, your yard is like either a half acre or less. So we're going to have four and a half acres, which is equivalent to like nine yards, like nine in city yards oh my goodness i'm literally on a rampage i'm not even gonna cut i'm just gonna keep talking so oh my goodness i'm on a rampage so we found this land and we got there <laughs> and it is right now straight up cornfield literally like the corn is still like the farmer who currently owns it hasn't even harvested the land yet so now i know what you're thinking like why would we buy corn like cornfield so we're this is perfect for us because so when we buy it assuming that we get to buy it obviously nothing nothing is settled yet so we can't say that we've already bought it but when we do buy it the farmer is going to um he's gonna clear out his his corn or whatever he's gonna get his money's worth and then that's gonna be that so then we're gonna have one big four and a half acres of flat cleared off land which means that i don't have to do any work knocking down any trees or anything like that what i'm gonna do now assuming we get this is in the winter time so we, we're gonna buy this land now but we're not gonna be able to move into it until i mean we have to be moved by june and that's probably like when we'll actually move i didn't see that guy i'm so blind but we're gonna be moving in june so what we're gonna do is we're gonna buy the land now hopefully this month is the goal then the farmers like i said he's gonna knock down his crops and then when it hits when it gets cold outside like freezing cold in the uh ground i Come on, I wanted to get that guy. When the ground gets cold, uh, my grandpa, he lives he lives nearby, like where the land is at. When the, when the ground gets cold, we're gonna just take his tractor and we're gonna drive over the land, like the frozen dirt, to completely flatten it out. And any, I'm assuming that this guy, the farmer might like actually clean up his, like the bottom of the corn stalks. We doubt it though. So we're just gonna plan on that. We're gonna have to do that, which is fine. Because this land is super cheap. That's why no one wants it though, because of the work you have to do, which is okay. So when the yard is frozen, we're going to, uh, you know, borrow my grandpa basically and have him and my little brother use my grandpa's tractor to run over like all the corn stock to make it so the yard is completely flat. Then once it gets springtime, which is going to be, you know, like February, March, April-ish time, not February, like March, April-ish time when it gets like, it doesn't have to be spring. This has to, the yard just has to not be frozen. Then we're going to go down there and we're going to plant grass and then from there we just have to wait like a month or two for the grass to grow and we're gonna have are you kidding me dude oh my goodness bro why why do i have to play against these guys we're gonna grow the grass and then from there we'll have our house on it put our house on it 
and bada bing bada boom we are gonna be able to have four and a half acres of completely flat land in our house on it we can put it literally wherever we want because like right now there's nothing there like there's not there's no electricity to it or anything like that yet so we get to decide exactly where everything goes like this is co a completely blank canvas that we have full control over which is awesome now obviously there's the work that goes into and the money but that's okay because it's completely our canvas that we're super excited about this must not be a good enough hill for the the sniper boys because we just held that whole hill without seeing any of these sniper boys so must not be good for montages oh i just heard that guy running up on me i don't like you kill feed furry fury you're annoying you're running around with your car and <laughs> hey dude oh my goodness he just got okay it got split by someone dude i like why i just want league play so i don't have to play against freaks like this so in a perfect world from now is it's uh september now wow that was really bad aim i'm still getting used to the 6 6 sensitivity i have it just about i have it pretty much down except for little instances like that but september it's september now we're hoping to have this land figured out like soon like actually this week potentially it could be like figured out which would be incredible like literally this week like potentially tomorrow we could claim this land if everything goes you're so annoying but we could potentially hold this land like as early as tomorrow which would be incredible i'm gonna pop that sounds and smoke this loser where are you there you are let me put us a... oh i stuck you i'm gonna let that blow up ha you little freak you little freak get out of here but i'm getting distracted by this guy who's making me very angry. i just realized I didn't realize this whole time I had my specialist class on. I just wanted to use the Ram 7. Crap, I didn't realize I was using the specialist class. I was like, wait a minute, I haven't called in a single kill streak. I mean, not that I normally do anyway, but you know what I'm saying. This frame is nice. So, yeah, we can hopefully claim the land as early as this week. And then what we're going to do from there is we have a... We want shopping for a temporary home. So what we're going to do is just to save on money and to be able to move down there sooner. Because to build a house, which is what we want to do, is going to be outrageously expensive. So we want to just put a temporary home on there that we're going to live on for, I mean, it does, we don't know how long it just depends. Like we're going to live in this temporary home for as long as it takes to save up to build the big home. So it could be anywhere from one year to like 10 years. I don't know. So we already found the temporary home that we want to put on the land. And it's like bigger than the, it's bigger than the apartment we're in now, which is exactly what we want. And it has three bedrooms which is like a master bedroom a room for my office and then room for a potential small child if that that happens like before we actually get our home and then you know like i said we just save up it'll be easy to save up because the land is going to be ours like we're going to be owning it rent is going to be like first of all we're not going to be paying rent we're going to be paying a mortgage it's going to be significantly cheaper than what we're paying now and it's going to be something that we're going to own we can do whatever we want on it and then one day we're going to build a home like from top to bottom in the back of the acres because we have four and a half acres so putting a temporary home in the front we're gonna be able to build an actual dream home in the back it's gonna be it's gonna be a while for that but that's okay because we want it to be our perfect dream home like exactly what we are like exactly what we want so it's gonna be i mean my wife my wife and i like we want to start a family it's just that you can't start a family when you're renting through an apartment you know it just doesn't it just doesn't work like that i mean you can but it's just like everything becomes tougher more expensive you're in this tiny place where we're going to be, I mean, like, we're going to be in a situation where, like, a worst case scenario, we, like, we'll be able to survive. Like, even, like, if we somehow both lost our jobs, like, we're going to be on land that we, um, if we somehow both lost our jobs, we can just make a huge garden and eat out of the garden. Now, obviously, we don't want to live, like, you know, we want to live, like, a normal life that we're living now, like, where we go to Walmart or, you know fast food and get some food but i'm just saying like we're foolproof in life which is awesome and that's what i'm most excited about i cannot believe that this loser got play of the game i do not like you wow dude nice overkill carbine dude nice mk2 43 and 21 for on these freaking what is this guy he went 60 and 20 how did we let him kill us 60 times i don't like you kill feed but that is gonna do it for today's video i'm really excited about it my wife's really excited but right now she's at work so i would have had her actually i really wanted her to be in this video to talk about it today but I wanted to talk about it now because today's my, like, I'm recording this day of, yesterday we just drove back. Now, the only problem with all of this is we, like, this is all exciting stuff, but it's three hour, three and a half hours away from our current home. Like, our current apartment is in one area. We have to drive three and a half hours to go to the new, like, potential land. So, it, that kind of sucks because now we have to, like, actually really get schedule things and get things done, like, 
we, like in one day we just have to do a bunch that way we don't have to keep driving back and forth but that's okay that is one day i'll tell my wife like one day 10 years from now when we're in our big dream home we're with like you know a family we're gonna be sitting there on our porch and we're gonna be like wow all this used to be a cornfield now it's lit you know what i'm saying guys so thank you guys for watching today's video and i'll see you guys all later goodbye yes that was a, a voice crack just ignore that goodbye